Hello, fellow creatives. Let's tour some builds by members of my community servers. Over the next 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and look at Nico Chan's base, which is over here by the Blue Obi. Uh, as you may know, my community ARC servers opened up recently, and so this series of videos is going to show you what some of our folks have been building. Uh, this week, we're looking at Nico Chan's castle base, which should be popping in here in just a second. And uh, just really quick while we're waiting on that, uh, on this channel, we do a lot of building tutorials for ARC, as, as well as modded building showcases. Here it comes. Uh, both of those are designed to help people who don't think they're very creative to grow and share that creativity that they do have. And I believe everyone's creative, even if they don't know it. And so I hope this video inspires you too. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. All right, so uh, this footage that I'm about to show you has been taken from a live stream where myself, our community members, and some VIPs like Mind Melt, Fatty McButterpants, and UTC all came to check these things out. And so you may hear their voices too. And uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it. All right, is Nico with us in uh, Discord? Yeah, I'm right here. Awesome. Okay, so uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, tell us about this place? Wow, that is a lot of stained glass. Yeah. Um Originally, I had chosen this place because it was like right here on this kind of plateau and there was this giant tree growing right through the middle and I tried to build around it, but it got to the point where I realized there I'd be pretty much not be able to decorate the place because the ceilings would be too low trying to fit around the tree. So I ended up cutting it down and just raising everything up. You want to show us the, I guess, the inside or, or what are we going to see first? Uh, I'll bring you through the little garage first. Do this it. is where I keep all my uh, gathering dinos. Mm -hmm. nice so that collection. they're easy to get to. And be careful of the little compies running around. Yes. Oh, are there wild compies? No, uh, I have a breeding compies. Oh, okay. Oh, there he is. They're, oh. They're just, they're just little specks. These are so cute. <laughs> That is cool. Oh my goodness. Yeah, wow. It's a cute little compy thing. Yeah, um, I think it has a green mutation. I can't really tell with how small it is right now. Yeah, I betcha. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> we are on a PC Ragnarok server, and we are taking a look at but my... the next uh, room is over here. My server community's... Um, uh, this place is huge. Basically, my all all my server community. In memory builds. of the tree, I had to cut down. I put a one of those uh, stumps <laughs> in the middle. Oh, that is cool. And this is also the dung beetle pen. That's a neat idea. Yeah, I like that. That's a good idea. And I've actually had none of them escape so far. Surprisingly, I wanted to deck this place, Hi. decorate this place, kind of like it was like a little mini zoo. And I try to put all my little shoulder pets and small dinos around like they're going around looking at all the places in here. Yeah, this feels like a pet store. Like, parts of this uh, room should be, like, steamy and uncomfortable where you keep the lizards. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a really neat room. I really like it. Uh, are there other floors to this place? Yeah, there's in total three floors. Over here is the kitchen. Chris, the little cabinets I put up here was kind of inspired by uh, oh, your, one of your things. Can't oh, remember yeah. which one. He, remember, I remember Chris, you doing the, the the sideways chair shelf raised up with them yeah. all stacked on top of each other. Yes, that, this is what this reminds me of, right? Yes. So the that's what I did with your interior design build for sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's because the, the bottom of the chair makes a little box almost, right? Yep, so you can get a similar effect in vanilla. Yeah, uh, I remember seeing that video and figured I'd try that with the little cabinets. And then after going over and seeing the Stormhold base and with the uh, half walls brought down, I thought that'd be a good idea to have a little bottom area to hang all the pots and pans and stuff. Well, this, this looks really great. I, I like how you arranged everything. What is in here? That would be the uh, kitchen. Oh. In our, the dining room. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. All right. Look at those crazy chandeliers. Those are insane. 
Those are really cool chandeliers. <laughs> Those are from like the Beast's Mansion in Beauty and the Beast. It's yeah, part of the uh, landscaping mod. Oh, okay. And the table is actually three tables all together, made to look like one long table. Yeah. That's pretty good. I mean, that table is pretty long, but uh, you made it actually look normal sized in this room. <laughs> it's great. Taz in my chat is lamenting all the dino heads. <laughs> yeah, it's, You've been it's busy. So Wildcard messed up not giving us that kind of a thing so long ago. Like, what are you going to give us two trophies to put on that stupid trophy rack? Yeah. Give us all these. Why, why do I have to wait for Eco to do this stuff? <laughs> she did a good job with it, too. Oh, for sure, yeah. There's a little greenhouse over here. Okay. Hey, very nice. Another good use of the, uh, the, the, the stained glass. Yeah, I really like the stained glass, but the problem is that it's wood, and pretty much everything else with glass is metal. Yep. That's, so that's you've got to paint, paint everything like as close as you can get to that color. So I painted all the metal that's used for building into kind of a coppery kind of look. So I snuck Over back here, in this uh, this dining room uh, because I had someone comment, and I was thinking the same thing. It reminds us, uh, me and a, another commenter, about this uh, place from Skyrim. Anybody else get that feeling? Of yeah, nice that's setting? actually why um, that was actually a lot of my inspiration. There you go. Perfect. It's Jarl Ulfric's Hall. What's it called? Yeah, can... uh, Dragon's Reach totally got that the blue carpet is part of what sold it and the kind of cold gray stone walls similar chairs and table i don't know totally captures the feel very yeah. interesting Good job the next area would probably be with the aviary all right let's see and look. that would be up outstairs or outside and up the elevator okay Ooh, elevator uh we might want to get in the middle or you'll might get pushed through is that me Everybody squeeze it tight. Eek! I was gonna say you were hidden behind my I'm in, I'm in. Okay, there we go. Group hug. Whew. Oh god. I'm such mm. a bad multitasker. <laughs> it's guys. getting tight. I'm trying to pay attention to too many things. All right. I'm the worst at it. And this is the aviary. There we go. Wow. This is like a great aviary. <laughs> the community center oh, really loud. inspired me with the aviary. And I really wanted cool, to incorporate no the stained glass as well. But uh, also on the roof, I keep all my uh, little uh, flyer protectors, my little flyer bodyguards, so I can run off and mm -hmm. let them defend my bird. And I keep them on the roof just so that wherever I fly by, I can whistle for them and have them all follow. And then here on the bottom, one of the things I didn't like was that it looked like it was hanging off. And so I got some of the castles and keeps arches and put those underneath to try to make them look like they were giving some support. Ah, I feel ya. Good yeah, idea. Yeah. Yeah. You could even, if you if you wanted to, but you could even do those up with a layer of walls above them too to thicken it up. I don't know if, the, how, if they have different sizes and stuff, but you could definitely make that work a bunch of different ways. All right, so at this point, we had a server restart suddenly because of some mods they needed updated. And so we basically had to get back on the server and we ended up on the third floor. But one thing really quick about these little paintings I, I have down here in the room, those are my, all my actual real life works. Really? Yeah. I'll come check it out. Oh, that is cool. I managed to figure out how to have them converted into art painting, so. That is so cool. So we are up here on the third floor and looking at real it's life paintings that have been converted into arc paintings. That one's just I, a scribble. Okay. I love that spider. Oh, thank you. I figured it might be, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, I just kind of scribbled because I kind of wanted to make it look like, you know, it's just a little painting area. Yeah, that's very cool to be able to do that. Personal home, personal art gallery. Yeah. That is really cool. That yes, out there is, is pretty much just the dragon rest and the griffin roost up there. I have to say, you did a great job. Oh, thank you. And through this door is just a little kind of fancy bathroom. Oh, that's neat. 
with an actual shower. Oh wow, this is like Mr. Burns bathroom. This is huge. Was it twelve stories? <laughs> twelve story. Oh, it is. It is pretty tall. <laughs> it's a tall old bathroom. Uh, it's what rich people do. Cats. They waste yeah, space to tell you how rich they are. Yeah. <laughs> Get a look at that view, will ya? Man, that sure is pretty. Nico Chan really picked a nice spot for this whole thing, I have to say. Um, and, you know, this channel is filled with exploring how to be creative with art. And this isn't just so you can build better. People love creative people. And I want to help you to create a sense of belonging that's built around sharing your creativity with others. That's why I do these videos. So hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button to stick around and become a little more creative by clicking on one of the videos on your screen. Check out some build tutorials or showcases, whatever it happens to be. And uh, I'll see you next time. And in the meantime, go make something awesome. Bye.